Welcome to Quilt Lessons with Reed. Today we're going to learn how to do accurate cutting with a mat, a ruler, and a rotary cutter. So the first thing that you need is you need to have a mat that has really nice clear lines on it and you can see that the lines are in yellow. This mat's a little bit older, so they're kind of wearing away a little bit, but it still works. And you can also see here that there are eighth inch increment lines. So there's one, two, three, four. So the halfway is four, five, six, seven, eight. So those are eighth inch marks there. These lines are all an inch apart. And so you need, in order to use the mat as one of your tools, you need to have a good quality mat where the markings, these yellow lines and the eighth inch lines are extremely accurate and they are on this mat that I'm using that's made by Olfa. Then you also need to have a really good um, straight edge ruler and this one is made by Creative Grids and it's called the Quick Trim and Circle Ruler and this one happens to be three and a half by 12 and a half. So it's three and a half this way and 12 and a half on the length. And um, that's just a real convenient size. And so things that are so helpful on this is there's a clearly defined half inch line here. And then it clearly shows you where the one inch lines are. So there's one, two, three, and then a half. And then it shows you where quarter inch lines are here. This dash line is quarter inch. That's a quarter inch over there. And then these lines in between are these white lines are quarter inch markings. And then the little lines in between the longer black lines are uh, eighth inch lines. So again, we have one, two, three, four, that's half, five, six, seven, eight. And so having a really good ruler like this helps. And then you also need a really good rotary cutter. And this one is made by Quilter Select. And it's so great because it's heavy and that helps cut through the fabric real easy and it just works super easy so um, to depress the blade you just go like this you push this button right here and tap down and then the blade is extended actually it's there we go see how the blade is extended a little bit there and then to make it go away you just tap again and now it's covered up. So that's how that works. So when you're cutting a piece of fabric, and what we're going to cut today for an example is um, six and a half inch squares. So here is approximately a third of a yard of fabric. You have the fold here and you have the selvage up here. And this is um, fabric from Island Batik for a project that I'm working on for their spring summer line next year. So when you're going to cut, you always want to have the selvage edges up at the top. And on a batik, it's a little harder to tell because it still looks like the rest of the fabric. But this edge is a little bit rougher typically, and it's oftentimes not real straight. And so then you want to take your fold and bring it up to kind of line it up straight with that selvage edge like that. So that's, and then you have your fold down here at the bottom. Now you want to lay that fold on one of these lines, one of these straight lines. So I'm going to put it right here. And then you want to make sure that you're cutting all this off. So this is the line that I'm going to be cutting on right here. So I want to move this over a little bit so that that's clearly going to get cut off. So the first thing that we have to do is trim off this rough edge. Now I'm left-handed, so everything that I do, you're going to want to do it the exact opposite. So now we take our ruler, and here is the one inch line, you can see that right there. So we're lining that up there and we're lining it up here and you can see that as I get it lined up, see the yellow line there? And when I get it lined up, the yellow line disappears. And maybe if I turn that overhead light off, it will help, let me try that. Yes, that does help. Okay, so here again, you can see there's the yellow line. That's the one inch line I'm lining the ruler up. And I'm putting that one inch line right on that. And you can see when I do it, the 
line disappears. And so you want it to be lined up down here, lined up down here. And then you're going to take your rotary cutter and just put it right next to the ruler and just gently slide up and you put a firm grip. Notice how I have my two fingers like this and I have this finger and my pinky finger off of the ruler so that it doesn't slip and you just ride right along like that. And then you can see I've got it cut. So this is scrap, we get rid of that. And now you want to always measure twice and cut once and then that way there won't be so many mistakes. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six and the half is gonna be right there. So as I told you before, this ruler has a half inch line. So we put it right there and we go up here. And again, we can see that that line is straight with our fold line. And up here, that's lined up with that line, that's lined up with that line, that's lined up with that line. And they're also lined up down here, that's lined up, that's lined up. So you wanna make sure that all those markings are lined up. And then this ruler happens to be three and a half, so then four and a half, five and a half, six and a half. So that's correct. So one way you can speed up the process is if you're doing six and a half inch cuts and you know that this is three and a half, you can always place this, the right edge of this ruler over three spaces and then you're gonna know that's your six and a half. So you don't have to count every time. You can just put the ruler here and go three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, six and a half. So when you've got it all lined up, again, you take and put this right next to the ruler and just slide a little bit at a time and then move your fingers up, slide a little more, move your fingers. And the reason you're moving your fingers up like that is you don't want the ruler to slip like that because if that happens, you're going to get a bad cut. So now we have a nice straight six and a half inch and now I need squares and I need two of them. So I'm going to fold this back and again I'm going to take and line this up on the lines. There you can see that I've got this cut line lined up along there. This is the salvage again and I want that cut off so I'm making sure that all of that is past this line I'm going to cut on. Then I take the ruler and again, I line it up with all these lines. So it's lined up there, there, there. Down here, it's lined up with all the lines. And we're ready to cut. We get rid of that. So again, we want six and a half. So one, two, three, four, five, six and a half. Here's the half line again. We put that on that line. Get it lined up up there as well. So we're all lined up down here on the bottom. And also we're lined up on all these lines at the top. And again, knowing that this ruler is three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, six and a half. That makes, that's, that's why this ruler makes it so easy to do so many different cuts. So right along there like that, pull this away before you move the ruler to make sure you've cut all the way through. And there we go, we have our perfectly cut out six and a half inch squares. And so it's super easy to get accurate cutting by using the lines on your mat, lining it up with the lines on your ruler, making sure that you hold the ruler correctly with a couple fingers like this and far enough away you don't want to accidentally cut your fingers then my fourth finger and my pinky finger are off kind of holding the ruler in place you want to make sure it doesn't slide at all and then putting your rotary cutter right next to your ruler and just smoothly running it right along and moving your fingers up as you go so that the ruler doesn't slide on you and that's how you get really accurate cuts so I hope that this lesson on how to get accurate cuts has been helpful. And if you like this video and would like to see more quilting lessons, be sure to hit the like button and the, the, the like button and the subscribe. And please be sure to leave any questions or comments down below. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye.